All right, welcome back to season three of our show. And today, it's a wedding day between pork belly and pork chop. We're going to show you how to get these guys seasoned up, cooked up, and married up. So stick around. They'll call me. All right, so it's the perfect marriage, pork belly and pork chops. Now, we're going to show you how to do this. This is a one-dish meal outside the rice from the side, but everything is going to go in the same pot. And we're going to show you how to get this done. So you're going to need some kale. You could use any vegetable you want any greenery you want. I'm using kale because kale happens to be my go-to. And you want a vegetable with some substance to it. This way it just doesn't fall apart or get soggy and break apart in this dish. Pork chops. I've got a couple of different pork chops here. I got some with the bone in and I got some loin chops here, thinly sliced. So use whatever pork chop you guys want. But about that thinness, it's about a quarter of an inch and that's how you want those. So they're not too thick and they're not too thin. I got a pork belly here, it's cured, smoked. I did this myself and I usually smoke them. I'll put them in the refrigerator for up to like a week. If I'll freeze them, I can freeze them up to a year, vacuum seal them and I always have pork belly on hand. So that's cured and smoked. Our vegetables, we got some onions here. These happen to be red onions. I got some yellow here. I got some jalapeno, lime and sage, olive oil, this is a simple rub. Onion powder, garlic powder, little paprika, no salt, and some white rice. All right, let's show you how to get it on. We're gonna take our kale, put it right over here, and we're gonna start with our pork chops first. So there's a certain way of how you cut these chops. I like to cut these chops like this. So I'll take the chop and I'll just cut the big piece of meat, just like that, off the bone. So you're gonna leave a piece of meat like that and you're gonna leave some of that meat on the bone like that. That's how you wanna do that. Again, with this one, we're gonna go in, slice it so it looks like that. So I'm gonna go like that and just slice right down. And then there's no wrong or right way how you slice these, just get them sliced up. And when you're shaking that pan, it'll just all go right down in there. Let's go like that. I think I want this piece off. And the pieces next to the bone are really good. Now you could do this boneless, but I'm using the bone in today. So this piece I want off, I'm gonna go like that. I'm using bone in chops today because anything on the bone has a lot more flavor. So it'll dry out a lot faster when it's off the bone, but we're leaving all that nice fat in there so it doesn't. All right, so here's our pork chop, and that's how we want those, just like that. We'll just organize them, and when we come back, we can season them up, which we'll show you in a second here. Now that's all off to the side. Just stack it up. All right, so it's time for our pork belly. So we're going to take our pork belly. Now this pork belly has the rind still on it, and we're going to take this cut it into manageable pieces that we can work with. Now you guys can probably get this from your butcher. Just tell them not to slice it up into bacon. And the nice part about this is that you can cut this any which way you like. So here's the rind and I'm not using the rind today. So what I'll do is just take the rind off of here. Just come in and get our rind right off the back. That's the hard skin part on the back of here. Now, if I was making bacon out of this, this is beautiful, this part. I love the rind, because if you slice it thin enough, you'll enjoy that part. So in here it goes. Now, don't throw that away, because nothing goes to waste. You can take that and you can flavor things with it, soups. You can get the fat off of there, leave a little bit of fat on the end there like this one here, and you can just put this in vegetables and cook them down in the pan. Works out well. All right, so here's all that nice, beautiful fat in here. Those are pretty lean pork chops, some of them there. So what I'll do is cut some of this fat out. Now this is pure fat right here. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I'm gonna put it to the side here. And I'm gonna use our meaty parts. And I'm gonna slice them pretty thin. To me, that's thin. To you guys, that might look really thick. So we're just gonna leave them like that. I 
and just cut them down. Just like that. All right, so we're gonna get the cutting on here and when we come back, we're gonna show you how to get all this together. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so we got our pork chops cut up. We got our bacon cut up over here. I'm just gonna show you the next stage. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. Now we're gonna season that in about two seconds, but I want my hands nice and clean before I touch that. So over here, like I said, we got everything chopped up for you. These are our onions. This is how you wanna dice them. So just slice them off to the side like that. You'll cut them in half and then just dice them up from there. And same thing with the white onion. Now the garlic, let's get that on to the bench. This is how much garlic you're gonna wanna use. Just like that. I'm gonna put this here like that. And we're gonna make this very easy. So we'll just put all our garlic here and just pull it down, smash it. That's it, just put it in. You don't have to chop it up. Just crush it, smash it down, let it release its flavor, and then right onto here. And then it's just gonna break up in the dish. Some pieces will be still whole, but most of it will fall apart in that. But that's how you want that. You don't wanna mince this, because as you smash it like this, it's gonna release a beautiful flavor in there and it'll release a different flavor. If you mince it, it's gonna get real garlicky on you. So you don't wanna do that. Just a, a good smash, and that's all you need. And then right onto the plate with the onions. This is a dish that you really don't wanna disturb that much. So you don't wanna complicate it, put a bunch of things in here, and you just want all those flavors just to come about. And now we're not using any salt in this dish because we've got a lot of salt in this bacon right here. This is basically bacon. It's salted pork belly. And you don't want to put a lot in there. So that's our sage. And we're going to take our sage, and just bowl up the sage like this, and just give it just a little chop. Nothing too crazy. Just rock your knife on it. And we got a couple of little pieces here we're going to leave those whole and put the sage back in. Now you have that. All right, so let's take a look at these limes. Jalapenos, leave them like that. Chop them in circles. And the limes, just roll them out, which they're pretty much rolled out already. They're washed, always wash your limes. This is how you want to cut it, in half, and we're going to cut it this way, and then cut it like that. That's how we're going to do those. And that's it. All right, let's just put these off to the side. We'll get the chopping at these in just a second. And we're going to show you how to marinate this now. All right, so here's our rub. Garlic powder, onion powder, a little paprika, no salt, and I got a little cayenne pepper in here, just a tad. I'm just going to do that, get a good amount of that rub on there. Like I said, no salt. Just turn them over and get the other side. If you guys don't make this rub, you can use garlic powder, onion powder by itself. I mean, you don't have to use my ingredients. Again, I always say, make it yours. All right, here we go. And this is about it. Now onto the stove we go and we're using that olive oil just to get everything started into that natural fat releases from that bacon. All right, onto the stove we go. All right, so we started our bacon a little early here, just so you guys didn't have to wait. And what we're doing is just rendering this down. We're gonna get some color on it and get some of that fat out of this bacon. Or pork belly. 
then we're going to put those pork chops in. So just let it render down. Now if you render this fast, that fat's not going to come out. So just nice and easy. And we're going to meet you here on the way back. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right. So about three minutes in, we got a little color on that pork, on that bacon, or pork belly. And now we're going to get these chops in. And this is what you want. You want to flavor these nice chops. Get them all in the pan and get some color on them. Just like that. Now once all that nice grease comes out of that bacon, which is lard, it'll just flavor these chops to finish them off. So just like that, and then we're going to meet you guys back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, I just want to show you how this looks now. Now this is cooking down. And the nice part is you can do this in batches, but we're just showing you one batch right now. We're just going to show you a complete batch. Look at that, beautiful. That's how you want that. So we're going to plate this up after this batch. This way you guys don't have to stick around for all the other batches. And that's how you want it. Look at all that beautiful pork belly. we got three more batches to go after this because we've got some company coming over. So we're just getting the first batch done. So this is how you want that. And once you get some color on there, you don't want everything dead. And with our sage, all of it, our garlic, all of it, and our onion. I'm going to use a couple of different colors here. Our jalapenos. I'm just going to put a few of those in. I like this dish spicy, so I'm going to use a lot more. And then I'm going to use a red onion. Some people call them red, some people call them purple, but they're going in. And that's how you want that. I'm going to use a good bit of those red onions. They bring a lot of punch, a lot of color, and they're sweet. All right, give this a shake. Now with this, we've got that lime here. So I got a couple of limes. They have no seeds in them, so I'm gonna squeeze a couple of these limes right in. Just like that. And then we're gonna drop just a few of them in. Squeeze and drop. And we're just gonna leave them in, quartered like that. Just a couple of them, that's all you need. That's it. And we're going to let this cook. And let everything get soft. We're going to drop our heat on low. See that? Beautiful. Let these onions caramelize down. We're going to drop our heat on low. Put the lid on. And we'll meet you right back here. Show you the next stage with the kale. So don't go anywhere. All right, so we're nice and cooked down. You can see all of our onions are nice and caramelized. That pork belly's looking beautiful in there. Look at that, beautiful. And now we're gonna add just a couple of pieces of kale in here. Not much. And now we're going to steam it. 
So what we'll do with that kale in there, let's put this a little bit more. We're just going to make a little gravy at the bottom and we're going to use just a little splash of white wine in there. Just a little splash. You can see those bubbles get crazy. We're going to give it a little shake. Just like that. That's going to bring everything up off the bottom. And our lid goes on. We'll let that steam off for about three minutes. We don't want that kale to be mushy. That's it. She's over. Meet you back here onto the cutting blocks. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, here we are. Season three's chopping block. Pork belly and pork chop. A perfect marriage. I'll show you what we got. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, that's what you want. And there's some broth down in the bottom of there. Just a little liquid down in the bottom of there. And you can see all that beautiful pork belly. So, let's plate this one up. This way you can see what we're working with here. So we're just gonna hit this plate with some white rice. We got some nice fresh. Now I like sticky white rice for this meal because I want everything just to go down into that rice and just stay there. That's why you always wanna use a sticky white rice for things like this. So this way it doesn't just run out of the rice. So if it's sticky, the rice will absorb it and that's what you want. So we got a little sticky rice on the plate there. And now we're gonna get a little pork chop on there and some pork belly. So what I like to do is just park just a couple of those pieces, just like that, on there. And you got all that beautiful pork belly on the bottom here. So I'm gonna use a spoon to grab that. You can see it's nice and caramelized. And I'll just get a little bit more of that pork belly on there. And some of those glazed onions. All right, let's move it off to the side. Let's clean this plate up a little bit. Let's give that a shot. Beautiful, right? I'm just gonna get a piece of that pork, pork chop, and a piece of that pork belly in there like that. I'm gonna get a little piece of kale in there. This way we got everything in there. Let's give that a shot. Beautiful marriage. You can taste everything in there. The garlic, the onion, the bacon just sets that off right up against that pork. Really hearty flavor. All right, we're gonna meet you right back here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. Cured pork belly slab bacon with pork chop. Some beautiful kale in there, onions, garlic right over white rice. Can't go wrong with that meal. And if you like this video and more videos about to come, don't forget to give a like, hit that bell. This way you get all those notifications first. Thank you. We enjoyed having you. Until the next time, gotta get that little, another one of those pit mats or taste there.